In this section, we're going to take a look at how to analyze cost behavior. We're going to use four methods to analyze cost behavior. The four methods are account analysis, CAD or plot, high-low method, and regression analysis. You will have to know how to use all these four methods. First, let's take a look at account analysis. Account analysis is very simple. All you do is you use your judgment to classify each account, whether it's variable, fixed, or mixed. You look at the data given and you eyeball it and you say, well, let's see how these costs behave in relation to volume and then you classify them as variable, fixed, or mixed. This is a very subjective method of analyzing uh, cost and we are not going to use too much of it. Next, we're going to talk about scatter plots. Scatter plots are simply where you use historical data to determine a cost behavior. You use historical data, probably for several months, and you scatter plot it on a graph where you put cost data on the y-axis and volume data on the x-axis. What scatter plots do is help managers visually figure out whether there's a strong relationship between the cost and the volume of the chosen activity base. This is what a scatter plot looks like. You have your total cost on your y-axis, and this particular example has miles driven on your x-axis. When you're using a scatter plot, you look at all your data points and then you draw a line that you think is your best fit. The point at which you intercept, the graph intercepts, is your fixed cost. The slope is your um, variable cost per unit. Therefore, you can use this mixed cost line to predict total cost at different volumes. So you, again, you would use your cost equation y equals vx plus f to predict what your different costs would be at different volumes. Scatter plots are great because you can visually see that there is a relationship between these data points. Another advantage of using um, scatter plots is that you can spot any outliers. What we call an outlier is an abnormal data point. Let's say you had a data point that was here, like the one I just plotted. You know that, that is, there's something wrong with that data point because um, for such a low volume, you had such a high cost. So managers would want to investigate that particular data point and see what happened. So a scatter plot, the advantage is that you can easily spot any outliers. What is the disadvantage? The disadvantage is that it's a subjective line that I just drew. That's my line. If I ask any of you to draw a line, you may draw a separate line, which might look like that. So the disadvantage of scatter plot is that it's subjective. Um, and when you draw a different line, your cost uh, equation will be different because if you notice, my cost equation, the fixed costs are here, but the one that somebody else would draw, it changes. So it's a subjective line that we're drawing here. And uh, that is the disadvantage with your scatter plots.